so my name's Alex Steele. Um, I am currently a detective within the Child Abuse Investigation Unit. I'm 28 years old. I joined the police um, just when I turned 21. Um, I did a degree at Northampton University um, and joined Northampton Police pretty much straight away after that. And then I kind of never really looked back since. <laughs> uh, in my spare time, um, it probably sounds a little bit boring, but all I like going to the gym. I like fitness, health and exercise, um, so I, I go to the gym quite a lot, get out, go on bike rides and things. I think I decided from quite a young age that I wanted to do at least something in the kind of public services area. I, re I really like helping people. I think the kind of usual worries that, you know, I expect obviously family members of police officers and everything have that, are you going to get hurt? You know, is it going to be dangerous? Are you going to deal with things that you might not be able to cope with either physically or mentally because until you go to that job you don't know how you're going to react and you don't know you know what what's going to happen next so I think I was a bit apprehensive we get all the training for you know defensive tactics and everything like that so you're well prepared it's just how you deal with it at the time but I think that was probably my biggest worry and um, there was one case when I first joined child protection there was two sisters that had been sexually abused by their dad um, so I met with them, went through all the process, obviously they were really upset. Their mum didn't, had no idea because the disclosure was made at school, so I had to sit down and tell the mum this is what they've said, which is obviously extremely hard on her um, going through all that. So I offered as much support as I could with the family, did the interviews with the girls, interviewed the suspect, um, got the case to a place where it was ready to go. There was really great evidence and I got a phone call, I think I was on, I was on rest days, I was at home and I got a phone call from my sergeant um, and she said that the suspect in the case had killed himself, which was hard for me, one, because I kind of thought immediately, is it something that I've done? The backlash that that then had on the family and especially the 10 year old girl, because then the 10 year old girl was going through the same feelings that I was saying, this is my fault and I kind of had to sit down with the family. I think I was there for about three or four hours just talking about, um, obviously I couldn't give a reason as to, as to why it happened, but just making sure that they were okay um, and just kind of helping them get back on their feet. Um, I think that was quite hard, especially as one of my first cases in child protection. Um, but, you know, it's, I think it's, it's part of life sometimes, these things will happen. Definitely something that kind of, open my eyes to the sort of stuff that we can deal with and the things that, that go on in normal daily life that you don't really think about, um, especially being, like I said, it was one of my first cases in child protection, so I kind of came away from it like, okay, this is the sort of level of stuff that I'm gonna have to get used to, so it kind of prepared me straight away for what, what I might have to deal with and the kind of things that could happen. I don't think individual jobs have changed me as a person, but I think being a police officer as a whole has changed me as a person. It's definitely taught me to be more um, kind of resilient to things. I think for me, the main thing is knowing that I'm having a positive impact on someone else's life. I'm helping someone. At the end of the day, I can go home knowing that I've helped someone even in the smallest way possible um, and hopefully made a difference to their life.